welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome okay guys I have got my hair done I got it touched up I no longer look like a little skunk with my my gray streak down the middle here I got my nails did for the wedding I love the color I'm obsessed I love it so gotta get my toesies done but it'll come later this week um what else have I gotten done today? Not a hell of a lot. I got my, uh, I got some of the grocery shopping done, not all of it. I haven't had time to sit down and make my regular list. So I've still got to do that. It'll probably go tomorrow or Monday. Well, let's get the rest of it. Um, I have got to try to at least flesh out chapter one better so that I can keep going with my story. Um, that's about all I've really gotten done today. I've been on the phone with Mama's nurse trying to get her checked out because she wasn't very responsive today. Uh, so they checked her out. Finally got her to go to bed. I had to call and try to wake her up because my cousin couldn't get her to wake up. And um, but finally got her. Uh, he finally got her in bed. So hopefully she's okay now. Um. <clears throat> that's about all that's happened so far today it's been a it's been a long day because I sat in the beauty shop from 10 o'clock or a little bit before 10 o'clock until 1.30 yes I am still yawning I'm never going to get caught up I don't think stopped by got me some lunch at McDonald's uh, and treated myself to a milkshake because it's self-care so I do whatever I want to on Saturdays I may eat healthy 99% of the time the rest of the week but on Saturdays I do what I want um, but that's pretty much all I've gotten done today uh, oh I got my I got my new Erin Condren planner I shopped the launch sale and that's not it. I've gotten a plum paper planner too recently, but it's for homeschooling. Got, I got this one. It says, become what you respect, mirror what you admire. And I love it. It came with a nice little bookmark with paper flags that, I, mm, sorry, I forget. I got a window behind me and it blackens me out. It comes with a nice little bookmark with paper flags in it that I can use while I'm reading and making notes and stuff. Or if I want to mark something on a page for later. And Oliver, quit trying to turn the water over. And it uh, comes with some like little um, quote cards and a perpetual calendar and stuff. So, yeah. But it's, it's almost wedding time. Wedding is Saturday. Nervous, excited, sad. My little girl's growing up. Anywho, I hope y'all are having a fabulous weekend. I will try to touch base with y'all again before the day's over with. If not, tomorrow. And I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys. It is still Saturday. Saturday night. I managed to get 200 I managed to get 252 words written on to chapter one. Still nowhere near done with chapter one. I am at um, fifteen thousand thirty-six words, so I hit another milestone. I hit fifteen thousand word mark. But I am on page. I think I'm on one, two, on page thirty. So, but I added two hundred and fifty-two words to chapter one so far. I would have added more, but it's going on eleven o'clock at night, and I'm getting a little tired. I did take a nap today because I was falling asleep sitting up. Ooh. Going to mom's. 
has really it really takes a lot out of me uh, um and especially now since she has she's she's lost her ability to walk she uh and i can't pick her up but i bear hugged her to help her get from her bed to her chair and she could take like barely their baby steps it's just kind of shuffling and then she'd have to sit down it took me between 15 and 20 minutes to get her from her bed she has a hospital bed in her living room from her bed to her chair and while that mm, may not seem like a whole lot given that her bed and chair are maybe Five feet apart, six feet apart tops. It took a while. And I was having to pretty much support her entire weight. And it's hard to see her that way. Um, I'm hoping, fingers and toes crossed, that she will be able to come to the wedding on Saturday. My um, my cousin said he would try his best to get her there so that my kids can see her, especially Ariana, because I don't know when Ariana's gonna be able to get back up there. <sighs> She's got so much to do before the wedding and and then after the wedding, they're going on their honeymoon. So I'm hoping and praying that she can make it to the wedding. Um, so good thoughts, positive vibes, prayer, whatever works for you. I would appreciate all of it to um, make that happen. Um, She's still so young. It's hard to say that way. She's, she's not even 70 yet. My mama is, let's see, four, five, six, seven. She is 67. Her birthday will be May 14th. I pray she makes it. Um, but yeah. She's, she's not doing well. She can't stay awake. She slept almost the whole time I was there. Even when I got her to the chair, she would fall asleep. And I'd have to continually go over there, wake her up, make her sit up so she didn't fall out on the floor. But she was tired of laying in the bed. Um, so, anywho. That's where we're at. I'm not going to depress you with, my, with what's going on with my mom. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And not trying to sound heartless, but I've been trying to prepare myself for this day for years now. Because she's been on a slow decline ever since my dad passed away in 2011, and he was only 62. So. I'm sorry. I stay exhausted right now. I just have so much going on. But tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to see if I can get some more written on chapter um, one. Monday, Cheyenne has an her therapy appointments. Tuesday, she has an appointment in Birmingham. So, I'm hoping I can get as much done as possible. So, the Birmingham trip is going to be tiring. This traffic in Birmingham is rough. Anyway. Fingers crossed, everything goes like it should, and everything goes to plan. And I will update y'all again tomorrow. Take y'all with me. If there's any other type of videos you'd like to see, just let me know. I will be happy to do them. Um, anything you would like to know about in regards to writing or publishing, ask. I would be happy to answer your questions. Or make a whole video about it. Just let me know. Anyway, I am going to get off here and get my tired ass to bed. 
I hope y'all have a lovely Saturday night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Morning. It is now Sunday. I'm getting ready to fix Cheyenne's biscuits for breakfast and her eggs. Have a good day. I love you. Huh? Okay. Okay. Daughter's come to work. It is coming a really, you can't see out the window, but it's coming a really bad storm. I mean, it's shook the house. I'm sure that's what woke Cheyenne up at 8 o'clock this morning. Because it woke me up. But I'm getting ready to fix her breakfast. And can't take the dogs out this morning because of the storms. Bless their hearts. I feel bad for them. But I'm getting ready to get my day started. I gotta fix my breakfast. I fix Cheyenne's breakfast. Oh, the lighting's way better over here. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it's very wet, rainy, stormy. We're getting scattered thunderstorms today. So I am going to do my best. I don't know. To get some writing done this morning. I do have to run to the store in a minute. But get some writing done this morning as long as it's safe to open the computer. I hope you have a really good Sunday and I will update y'all shortly. I've made it to the store. I thought I would take a minute to show you the craziness that is the weather today. See the beautiful sky. Ain't it pretty? see that bullshit <laughs> that's what we're dealing with today okay I just thought I'd share that for a minute I'm gonna run in here and get what I gotta get for Cheyenne and then I'm going back home and getting out of this mess <laughs> got my big chunky water bottle I gotta get started on it though because I'm running behind but I wasn't up at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock this morning to get started so yeah I gotta catch up to 9 o'clock <laughs> oh Remember to hydrate, y'all. Okay. It has been a couple days since I updated y'all, unfortunately. I did manage to get 570 words written uh, two days ago, which was Sunday night. <clears throat> I didn't get to write all day yesterday. I slept wrong Sunday night or something, and I woke up with a I woke up with a crick in my neck, and it still bothered me. It hurts. Um, but yesterday was an eventful day uh, in regards to my mom and the person that's supposed to be caring for her during the day that it, that wasn't there. And then today I've got to go to Birmingham, so I have that in a little bit. I gotta leave in about an hour, less than an hour actually. And then, uh, so I've got to get my butt around. Oh, I slept in too much this morning and I slept too hard. So I'm tired. I felt better when I first woke up at six o'clock. But yeah, I've got to start getting around, get her around so I can get her to her appointment on time. She's going to a spasticity doctor. Spasticity. I can't say that word. Spasticity. Um, basically, she had hypotonia as a baby, and when her muscles tightened back up, they tightened up too tight. So she's getting that checked out today. Um, I don't know why they've waited this long, but I guess they thought it would work itself out. I don't know. You'd think with all her PT and stuff that she would, but no. So we've got that today. Um, I'm going to, I've, I read an entire book yesterday. I read Verity by Colleen Hoover. That is one twisted book. Very good book, but very twisted. Um, and it does have trigger warnings with um, death, um, child death. And um, so, yeah. 
it's it was huff it was huff words are hard <laughs> it was tough to get through but I read that whole book yesterday um, I'm gonna start on any man today while I'm waiting in the waiting room and see how that book is it's Amber Tamlin's debut novel oh Amber Tamlin's debut novel yeah that's the plan for the day hubby will be home tomorrow and the wedding shenanigans start I will try to update y'all I'm not gonna promise but I will try to update y'all this afternoon after maybe I got some writing done or at the very least update y'all on how this book is going uh, we shall see anywho we will get off here I'm gonna get off here and go get my butt ready for the hour drive to her appointment. Y'all have a great day. Mm, it's been a long day. Cheyenne had her appointment in Birmingham. Oh. They are referring her. Oh, to what they call the gate lab, G-A-I-T, not G-A-T-E. Um, and apparently there's like sensors and stuff in the floor and she can walk around and it can slow down her, her gate so they can see exactly what's going on and what would be the best course for her, whether it would be a different set of braces for her legs because she already has shoe insert, <laughs> shoe inserts. <laughs> Um, and what have you. Um, so she had that appointment that took, we left the house at 11. Her appointment was at 1. We didn't get home till after, it was about 3.30 when we got back home. Um, so she did that. Uh, hubby will be home tomorrow. My head's hurt all day because I've, st I've got a crick in my neck. Uh, I did manage to get 80 words <laughs> added to chapter two. I know it's not a lot, but you know what? It's better than nothing. I read some of my book at uh, the hospital. <sighs> and it's a very hard read. Um, the storytelling part of it, I enjoy the poetry part, not so much. So we'll see. I'm going to do my best not to DNF it, but we'll see. Um, they're also going to check with the developmental uh, doctors. She, I think they're developmental psych, I don't know, but they were, she was supposed to have an appointment with them. I filled out all the paperwork and stuff and they never got back with me with an appointment and that was two years ago. So they're supposed to check with them and see about getting her in there. Because that will help with things further down the line. Um, I'm tired. Uh did not manage to get all my water done today. I'm still drinking on it. That's one reason why I'm still up because I'm trying to get my water in. I have made it to 3 p.m. because I can't take this big jug with me. It's just too much to carry. Uh, I mean, the thing is bigger than my head. It's just too much to carry. But um, I go tomorrow to get my hair washed and everything and then um rehearsal dinner's thursday i'm gonna try to get some writing done tomorrow but again husband's home friday i'm gonna try to go floor shopping for uh cheyenne's floor i want to replace the carpet in there it's it's old it needs replacing it's worn there's just so much going on I can't stop yawning, guys. I am so sorry. You sit here and watch my videos, and all I'm doing is yawning. 
Um, but yeah. So that's the plan. And of course, Saturday is wedding day. Still hoping my mom will be able to come, but I'm not sure she's going to. We may just have to do like a, a live video call and hope she understands what she's seeing. Because when Alina was there, she didn't even remember Alina. Of course, she thought I was dead, so. Because that's what she told Alina. She told Alina that the ambulance had taken me out dead. So it's just. It's sad. It's difficult. But I'm doing the best I can. Anywho, guys, I am about to call it a night. And I'm about to drop my phone. And then I go into bed. <sighs> Aside from my hair appointment at 3 o'clock, I ain't got crap to do tomorrow. So, I am going to just try to take it easy. Maybe get some writing done. Some reading. We'll see what I get done. I hope y'all have a good night. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Hey guys. So update. Still reading any man. It's a very short book, but it's such a tough read. Um, I haven't done any more writing since I did the 80 words. I'm waiting on chapter one back from my CP uh, to see if I've included everything I need to include in it. Um, we have rehearsal tonight at six, not five like I originally thought, and rehearsal dinner at seven. Hubby came home. I haven't had a lot of sleep. I got in bed about midnight. Well, it was after midnight, 12.48, I think, is when I climbed in the bed after my bath. And then I didn't fall asleep till sometime after 1 o'clock this morning. And then I was up at 3 and then again at 6. Um, had a water leak yesterday, so that took a while to fix. And it had to completely set before we could turn the water back on, which meant I didn't get to get a bath until... Midnight. But I had gone over to Ariana's house and she did my toesies. Painted my toesies. Got them all pretty to match my fingernails. But that's the update for today and probably the last update for this vlog, most likely. Um, so, yeah. But I will keep y'all updated on the wedding and writing and books. I hope y'all are having a great week. Um, yeah. So like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun YouTube -y things and I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.